why Haskell? So Haskell is an interesting one. You can accomplish the things that we want to accomplish with other languages like Idris and Agda and OCaml. Uh, and there are certainly many good choices. But regardless of the one you pick, the goal is still the same. We have these papers that we write, Ouroboros and the extended UTXO model and Hydra and Catalyst and all this other stuff, the voting system there. And those papers contain an enormous amount of sophistication. So people first ask, well, how do you find a developer? Well, hang on a second here. If I hire a C developer, a C++ developer, a Java developer, a C Sharp developer, I might have a much easier time finding him or her. But then what happens when I give that developer the paper and say, here's Ouroboros, tell me how to build it. I'm going to have a much harder time finding a developer who can read that paper, understand that paper, and semantically correctly implement that paper. When you have a Haskell developer, more often than not, they come from the academic world, the scientific world. They're a little brighter than the average bear. Much, much higher probability that that developer will be able to read that paper, understand that paper, translate that paper into code, and that code will run. So it felt natural to me, since we were investing in the science, to bring in a different class of developer and have that developer go and translate the science into Haskell as the reference code. Now, it's entirely true that maybe that is not the code you end up in market with, but it's a lot easier to translate from Haskell to Java than it is to go from science to Java. Much, much easier, because at least you have something running and working and you, with a little bit of training, about five to 10 weeks with a normal developer, they'll know enough about it to be able to read the code, the documentation, and be able to kind of figure out a different way of doing it. And that's exactly what happened with Vincent Hanquez and Nicola de Prima in the Cardano Rust code. They looked at the Haskell code, they read it, they understood it, and then they were able to write Rust code. It's significantly harder to take a paper that has mathematical proofs in it, all these formalisms, and just go straight from that to the code. So that's why Haskell, in that alone, while it was very expensive in the beginning and we had to build processes, is now putting us in a very unique competitive position where we're accelerating and we're accelerating despite the incumbent complexity of scale and the incumbent complexity of these protocols. Contrast that with our competitors who are mired in complexity and they keep having product delays like F2 because they're in that position where they're having much more complicated science and protocols but then they don't have that intermediate step that helps them manage that, and figure it out, sort it, simplify it, and turn it into something good. So I'm happy with it. Uh, I paid the price for it. Whether you thought it was a good idea or not, well, we have the developers now. We have libraries now. It works on Windows now. Uh, and we have a great development workflow, and we're releasing code very quickly. Anybody who tells you otherwise, they're just lying to you.